Hello there, how are you today? This is to specially welcome you to the ATP question of the day. This amazing feature was put together by Ask the Pediatricians Foundation as a platform to answer some of the frequently asked questions by moms and dads pertaining to child health care. And Dr. Demi Sola, who is a consultant pediatrician and the founder of the foundation, would be addressing these questions herself. Amazing, right? Yes, I thought so too. So relax, grab a pen and a drink as we enlighten the world. Hi everyone, welcome to ATP question of the day. I am Dr. Bemi Boyde, and I'm going to be addressing various questions that have been sent to us by parents about the health of their children. And for the past few episodes, we've been looking at questions as related to the BCG vaccine. And today I'm just going to go ahead and answer another question about BCG. All right, so this is the question for today. Please, is it compulsory that BCG vaccine must leave a score in order to prove its efficacy? This is a very important question. Please, is it compulsory that BCG vaccine must leave a score in order to prove its efficacy? Now, uh, the question is not surprising because parents do want to know a lot about BCG. And like we've been saying, BCG is the first vaccine that is usually given to the baby at birth and it's to protect against tuberculosis. And, and one of the ways that we know that the BCG vaccine has produced the response is by it leaving a scar. Indeed, most of the time after the BCG vaccine, you'll be asked to come at six weeks for what we call the scar inspection. That is the BCG scar inspection. And this is just for the uh, uh, for the health professionals to know that what we give as a vaccine is really giving a response. I want us to remember that there's a difference between vaccination and immunization. So vaccination just basically say your child has been given a vaccine, but your child needs to produce a response to that vaccine for us to say your child is immunized or your child is in now immune against a particular disease. So sometimes if the vaccine was not properly administered or maybe the cold chain has been broken along the way, your child could be rightly vaccinated, but the child is not protected against the disease. So the child has not really been immunized. So why, so when we administer BCG vaccination, one of the ways by which we know that the child is not really immune is that the BCG tends to give us that scar. So we call it BCG scar. So that helps us to know that this child has produced a response against the BCG vaccine. However, some children don't have BCG scars. And sometimes for such children, parents are not sure uh, as the child really responded to the vaccine or not. And so we too, we are not sure. If a child does not produce a scar, so we are not 100% sure whether that child has responded to the BCG vaccine or not. So we need to know. And what we normally need to do is to do another test, what we call the mantle test or the tuberculin skin test. So the mantle test or the tuberculin skin test is like we now inject a particle into the skin of the baby, usually into the forearm, and then we'll see whether there's a response. So there's a response you get in somebody who has been immunized against uh, with BCG. So you should get that particular response. So if you don't get that particular response, then you know that that person has been given the vaccine, but the person has not really developed that immune response. And so that is what we normally do. So if your baby has been given, uh, so the BCG scar is to, to be, to answer that question, strictly speaking, you don't need, uh, the, the BCG scar does not mean the child 
as the fact that the child does not have BCG scan does not mean the child has not taken the BCG vaccine or that the BCG vaccine is not efficacious. Yes, it is a sign most of the time to help us to know. But even if it's not present, that does not mean the child has not really had uh, an efficacious vaccine. But we need another way to prove that has happened. And that means we have to test for it. And that is where we have to do the mantle test or the tuberculin skin test. And if we get the response that you expect from a child who has gotten the BCG vaccine and has been properly immune uh, to tuberculosis, then we don't need to repeat the uh the bcg vaccine but if we don't get that response then that means we have to do something about it so why this guy is a very good uh 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 criteria for us to know that that child has developed a response the fact that there's no start does not necessarily mean that the busy virus is efficacious but we just need to have another way uh to prove it uh hope that's really answer the question remember you can drop your comments and your questions under this video please share the video please uh, subscribe and please um follow us on instagram and i'll come again same time tomorrow to answer another shared ex question thank you for watching acp uh, question of the day How was it? I told you it would be enlightening and yes, it was. So why don't you join us tomorrow for another edition of Question of the Day. And I encourage you to subscribe to our ATP TV on YouTube. You can follow Ask the Pediatricians on Instagram. Join our Facebook group. Plus, we have an ATP mobile app on Google and Apple Play Store. Download it. Till we meet again tomorrow, thank you for watching.